Original American Idol winner, Grammy winner, and now Christmas Princess. 2013 has been one incredible year for Kelly Clarkson following her marriage and now with a baby on the way, Kelly Clarkson wraps up 2013 with her very own Christmas album, Wrapped in Red. Background information out of the way first, Wrapped in Red was released October 25th, 2013 and is Kelly's first ever Christmas album. The album topped the US Holiday Album Chart and continues to do so, and has now been certified platinum with over 1 million shipments. Kelly Clarkson celebrated the release of Wrapped in Red by filming a special Christmas NBC special, which aired on December the 11th, titled Kelly Clarkson's Cautionary Christmas Music Tale. The Wrapped in Red album cover right here is absolutely stunning. Kelly Clarkson looks beautiful and very classy with her bright red lips, and a very nice red scarf wrapped around her neck. The font at the bottom is ribbon-like, clearly stating Kelly Clarkson wrapped in red. What do you guys think of the cover? Let me know down there in the comments. Track number one opens up with one of five original tracks written by Kelly Clarkson for this album and is the album's title track, Wrapped in Red. This opening track is a country pop ballad with such a magical feel. Already on opening of this album, you get Kelly's incredible vocals. Track number two and the first single off Wrapped in Red is Underneath the Tree and is an explosive, festive track that's upbeat and full of joy. It's definitely one of those Christmas tracks that are going to be returning every single year bigger and better than ever. It's definitely the most explosive and upbeat Christmas songs since Mariah Carey's classic All I Want For Christmas Is You. Track number three, Have Yourself A Merry Little Christmas and the album takes a very mellow dip with Kelly's rendition of this beautiful Christmas classic. Kelly's powerful belt at the end of this track, however, will leave you with chills. She sounds amazing. The album shoots up to upbeat and fun again with track number four, Run Run Rudolph. Traditional Rocky, Kelly Clarkson is channeled through this upbeat rock and roll Christmas classic. Track five, Please Come Home For Christmas is another beautiful cover of a Christmas classic. Kelly brings her own country vibe and flavor to this track, which really adds something special. Track number six and original song number three is Every Christmas. This is a very mellow Christmas number with a traditional blues feel. The track mixed with Kelly Clarkson's powerful vocals makes for one really good Christmas track. Track number seven is Kelly's rendition of the Elvis Presley Christmas classic, Blue Christmas. This is pure country and is one of those very mellow straw in mouth country Christmas jingles. Up next is the first collaboration of the album, Baby It's Cold Outside with country star Ronnie Dunn. Blues and swing flow through this track as Kelly and Ronnie's vocals really complement each other. This really is one of the better covers on the album, I feel. It's such a classic song that's been covered so many times, but I really feel that Kelly and Ronnie's edition is just so different. I love it. It's one of my top favourites. Track number nine and original song number four is Winter Dreams. This track was written for Kelly Clarkson's new husband, Brandon, and is a bubbly, upbeat Christmas song that really invokes happiness. The chorus really does sweep you away with such a massive Broadway-esque production. Track number 10, White Christmas, is a gorgeous vocal cover of such a beautiful Christmas ballad. This track is another one of those tracks that has been covered so many times, but Kelly Clarkson's vocals are really smooth like butter, it will really captivate you and it will really show you how much Kelly has captured the essence of that this song is supposed to capture. Unusual for a Christmas album, Kelly decided to cover the musical number My Favourite Things and it really works. Kelly jazzes up the musical original with a blues feel and makes it fit on the album so well. It really does invoke that feeling on Christmas morning when you open your brown paper packages and get really excited. Track number 12 and the final original track written by Kelly is Four Carrots. This is an upbeat traditional Kelly sounding track. It's pop rock Kelly meets Christmas jingles, combine the two and you have one amazing Christmas festive song. Up next, Kelly Clarkson covers the original Imogen Heap track, Just For Now. Kelly adds a very mellow vibe and powerful building choruses with her strong vocal belts, giving this song a very different edge to the original. And finally, track number 14 and the final collaboration is Silent Night, featuring Reba McIntyre and Trisha Yearwood. This really is another beautiful Christmas classic that we've heard covered 100 million times but honestly, Kelly Clarkson, Reba, and Trisha, the three country divas, really add something different to this track. 
And it doesn't end there, if you purchased your Wrapped in Red from Target or live outside the US, you received these two bonus tracks. Track 15, I'll Be Home for Christmas, as heard from last year's Kelly Clarkson iTunes Sessions, is Kelly's rendition of a beautiful blues Christmas classic. Kelly's powerful vocal belts in the final chorus will really blow you away, and which will set Kelly's version of this song apart from all the other covers. And finally, track 16, I'll Come, I'll Come Emmanuel, is a mellow ending to Kelly Clarkson's deluxe edition of Wrapped in Red. Kelly beautifully covers the religious Christmas psalm with a haunting chill to her vocals. And that just about wraps up my review of Kelly Clarkson's already iconic Christmas album, Wrapped in Red. Admittedly, when I heard that Kelly Clarkson was releasing a Christmas album, I kind of dismissed it, because I kind of see Christmas albums are like, Oh, it's just another cheesy Christmas album. But seriously, when I first heard it, when I finally gave it a chance, I really was blown away. To me, like, I honestly feel that this is the best Christmas album to follow Mariah Carey's classic album, Merry Christmas, from 1994. And that's saying something. I was a bit disappointed that Kelly didn't cover Mariah's classic, All I Want For Christmas Is You. I kind of expected it, or but I kind of expected maybe a duet between the two for All I Want For Christmas Is You, since they kind of shared that moment on the American Idol finale. But, oh well, Kelly kind of followed up with her own Christmas classic that was very All I Want For Christmas Is You-esque with Underneath The Tree, and I was really happy with that. My favourite track definitely has to be Underneath The Tree. I really do love how festive and upbeat and explosive this track is. I really do feel that it channels Mariah's All I Want For Christmas Is You really, really well, and it really is on par with it. My least favourite track, however, has to be Blue Christmas. I don't really like how typical country it is, and I'm not really an Elvis Presley fan anyway, but I guess that's just my least favourite track. And as it's the end of my review, it's now your turn to let me know what you guys think of Kelly Clarkson's Christmas album, Wrapped in Red. What is your favourite and least favourite tracks, and what did you think of the album as a whole? Let me know down there in the comments. As it's Christmas, I wanted to do a Christmas special video, and what a better video to do than to review Kelly Clarkson's amazing Christmas album. As it's Christmas Day, I want to wish all of you guys a very Merry Christmas and a very Happy Holidays. Enjoy it, spend time with your family, laughing, singing, and enjoy the amazing food, and I hope everyone gets everything that you want. Merry Christmas! As it's the end of one of my videos, you all know that I always recap some of my older ones, so over here, go and check out my Lady Gaga art pop album review, up here, check out my Katy Perry prison review, and over here, check out my Britney Spears, Britney Jean review. Once again, thank you guys so much for watching, have a very Merry Christmas, follow my Facebook page, Twitter and all that if you want to, it means a lot to me, and I will see you guys soon. Bye!